Hi everyone, it's Jennifer McCollum from Parent Teens. I have with me today Lisa Smith. Hi Lisa. Hi Jennifer, hi everybody. Hello, I'm so glad you've joined us. Lisa is um, from The Peaceful Parent. She is a parent coach. She does one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching from anywhere in the world, if you are anywhere in the world. Um, she's wrote a book called The Angry Parent. I got to hear more about that. And she is just a joy to have with us and, and spend her time with us to tell us a little bit about herself and why you know, why we need to know about Lisa Smith and become peaceful <laughs> parents. I just, you have so much to offer our parents and I'm going to let you take it away, Lisa, and just tell us how you got into the parenting world. Well, thank you, Jennifer. I'm, I'm excited to be here. And, you know, my story is an interesting one or at least I find it interesting. I like to say I'm my own best client. So the story goes like this. I was an executive in a Fortune 500 medical device company and I was extremely successful. And, uh, you know, had great leadership qualities, was a really happy person, um, just, you know, found myself really enjoying life. And 14 years into my marriage, my husband and I decided to have a child. And as my son was growing into the two terrible twos and threes and fours, I noticed that I was angry and reactive a lot as a parent. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I come from a household of yellers. I like to say that if yelling were an Olympic sport, I would come from a dynasty of gold medalists. <laughs> so it runs deep in my family. Mm -hmm. And although I was this happy-go-lucky person, um, you know, really successful effervescent. I had, it didn't know it at the time, but I had these patterns of anger that were showing up that were embedded in my brain as a child. And I was angry and reactive as a parent a lot, short-tempered. I felt horrible about myself. I felt like everybody seemed to be doing parenting correctly and I couldn't get it together. And it felt like a diet, like every morning I would wake up in bed and I would say, today's the day I'm not going to yell. And I'm sure many of you listening to this or watching it are nodding your head and can relate with me. You know, it was like a diet. Today's the day I'm not going to yell. And then by 530, I was yelling, drinking Chardonnay or both. And um, it was, you know, it was this, it was this vicious cycle where I felt like I was constantly beating myself up. Parenting was not joyful for me. It was stressful. I felt like I was white knuckling it and I didn't know how to do it differently. I'd read books and they made sense to me. I'd follow people. But then when it came down to that stressful moment, I would just revert back to my old patterns. Mm -hmm. So one day my son was five and I was yelling at him and he was yelling at me because he's very strong willed and he's not going to take my crap. And um, so I was yelling at him, he was yelling at me, and then I was yelling at him for yelling at me. Mm -hmm. And I had like this out of body experience. And in the back of my mind, at the same time, I was wondering who taught him this. And then I just had this out of body experience where the voice said to me, you are, you're teaching him to be angry and reactive. And I literally fell to my knees. I have to grab a Kleenex. I get a little teary-eyed every time I tell the story because it's so emotional for me. I just fell to my knees, begging the universe for a solution. And of course, you know, the way the world goes, shortly thereafter, conscious parenting, what I call peaceful parenting, fell into my lap. And I learned all about it. I learned that there was a new way to show up. I learned about, I learned tools that brought connection with my child. I learned how to regulate myself. I learned, I learned why, you know, a lot of times we need to know why we're doing what we're doing. So I looked back into my own childhood and I found patterns and I was able to clean them up mm -hmm. and create new neural pathways in my brain. So that in times of parenting stress, it, when we're in that parent child role, because even though we're now the parent, it's still the same parent child dynamic that's unique. I learned new ways to show up and, and stay calm 
and not jump into what I call the storming, you know, the swirling around and the storming with my child. And within the first couple of weeks, Jennifer, everything changed, everything, how I felt, how I showed up, the energy I brought, the expectations. And, you know, we had a massive transformation in our family. And at the time, I decided to leave my career and become a parent coach because I was so excited about this information. I just, I, I literally felt like a calling to me. I'd heard about callings before and I'd, I was like, oh, right, yeah, whatever, you know. But this felt like a calling. So I left my job and I, you know, I opened up my practice about eight years ago and um, have been working with, you know, have worked with hundreds of families around the world, continue to work with myself because now I have a 14 year old boy. Um, and I have to say, you know, I hear parents say all the time, oh, those teenage years, they're miserable, they're horrible, you know, they're intense, I have no control. That's not the experience I'm having with my son. Now, you know, every day is not rainbows and unicorns, and he's a little moody, and sometimes he gets really upset and storms and tells me, I have no idea why I'm doing this, but we're, we're connected, and I'm able to stay calm and not take his behavior personally. I'm able to guide us. I'm able to support him when he's out of control. I'm not trying to dominate over him or punish him or control him. And instead, I'm interested in hearing how he feels about things. And we come up with solutions. And, you know, I think that I'm really passionate about helping teenagers, boys in particular, feel heard in this world because I think that we, our kids need to feel heard. And when they feel heard, when humans feel heard, that's all we want. And so when we can help our kids, to, you know, little kids, teens, preteens feel heard, it helps everything stay calm. It allows solutions to happen and, and the internal compass, which I talk about a lot to turn on. So I've, I've had a massive transformation and I'm just, you know, here to shout it from the rooftop for all the families out there. And I have to say the transformation, let's be clear about this, started with me. And I know you want to get into this, so I'm going to, I'm going to jump into it and say <laughs> that so I want often, to get into right? this, yes. <laughs> yeah, let's dig in. Can I, can I and, just make a comment, though, yeah. before you get into that? How incredibly powerful your story is because we all don't get like it doesn't all just come to us and probably those reaching this site right now and finding us right now they haven't got to that moment where oh my gosh it all makes sense my life is transformed my relationship with my kids is transformed like I, <laughs> losing my earrings as we're talking you know like we're not most of us are not at oh whatever i'm gonna go one ear ringed okay i like it it's the newest we're, trend we're not at that that point so it is so powerful to know that there is a point you can get to when things can be completely transformed Mm -hmm. And that when you found that point, like, thank goodness you found that. So you worked with someone to allow you to come to that point so that you could then go out and shout it from the rooftops, right? Yeah. Like you said, yeah. like, hey, it can be better. We can be better. Life can be better. And I just want to comment on how incredibly powerful that is, because I know a lot of people coming to us right now are feeling hopeless they're feeling defeated they're feeling guilt and shame and yeah. that there is absolute hope when you get working with the right person at the right time to just shed a new light on your whole situation so it's, i just want to comment about that because yeah I no and let me say something about that because you bring up a good point you know it's so true there's guilt there's shame there's there's it affects your relationship with your spouse or your partner you know it feels it's heavy 
And it's like a black cloud that follows you around. And I, I, I get it. I've been there. You know, I've, 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 I've dropped to my knees begging for a solution because, you know, I wanted nothing more than to enjoy parenting and have a great relationship with my son. And, you know, my goal was to, and I say this to my clients all the time, let's point your family in a new trajectory. You know, because so often, not every time, Jennifer, but so often, you know, our, we're repeating the patterns of our childhoods and, and what we really have the opportunity to do today because of parent coaches and technology and awareness and consciousness is we really have the opportunity to point our family in a new trajectory. Because think about this, Mm -hmm. you know, the way you parent your children are the way they're going to parent their children. So when you invest in pointing your family in a new trajectory, you're changing the dynamics for generations to come. Gosh, that's powerful too. Can you just like say something that isn't going to mind blow us all? (laughs) (laughs) I mean, everything. Like just to think about that, that the choices you're making right now impact future generations. That's huge. Like if we end right right here, (laughs) you've given us. You've given us hope and you've given us like inspiration to just, you know, know that there can be change and it can get better. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Do, You're welcome. We need to even go on. Like that is everything. <laughs> that is everything and, and all of it, all right there. And I know you have, you have coaching and you have courses and you have your book. And you have lots of ways for parents to connect with you. What's it like when they first reach out to you? Do you do a call with them? I do. I, I have a, a, most people come to me. I have a, a free course, a three part video series course. So most people will get, you know, used to me or indoctrinated or, or uh, familiar with me through that, in which I, I try really hard to over deliver. Mm -hmm. Um, I I just, I want everybody to know what I know. So in this course, they will get a series of videos each day in their inbox where they can pick up just some simple tools that can make a huge difference in the family immediately. And then from there, you know, we let them know what's available to them. There's group courses because some people prefer to, you know, gather that information Mm -hmm. that way. And then there's private coaching where we spend the whole hour talking about your family and you and we dig in deep. And then there's, you know, do-it-yourself, self-paced courses for those that want to just dip their toe in and, and, you know, start slow and familiarize themselves with the principles that I teach. So um, anything's available to people. I, I'm really here to serve. So however they want to ingest the information, I want to get it to them because I really feel, you know, like I have the opportunity to change the world one family at a time. Absolutely. I mean, that's my mission. That's my why. That's what I'm driven it's why I get up every morning and do this. That's what it's really about for me is, is, is trying to, you know, contribute to the world one family at a time by helping everybody, you know, calm the chaos and create the connection. I absolutely love that. Um, at the end of this, I'm going to provide a link maybe to your free video series, if that's okay. I absolutely because the more we can get of you Lisa I think the better and just understand how you can help us as we're going through whatever it is we're going through and come out just being better parents better people in the end so yeah I know there was lots more we wanted to talk about we wanted to talk about kind of like the steps but maybe we can leave that for another time. And I know you probably touch on it in your video series. So it should be just people there for right now. Do you think that's a, a good idea? Yeah, I think that's, I think that's a great okay. idea. I also, when they, when they get, when they get my video, when you get my video series, there's also a weekly email that goes out okay. with a parenting tip. So there's lots of, of content available for people to consume. And I invite everybody to join that. I love, you know, having this community of people that I support and people often, you know, phone me up. I talked to a lady this morning in Missouri who, you know, has been on my list for six months. She's consumed all my content. She's studied 
And now, you know, she's like, and now I'm ready to work with you. I've, I've worked on all the little things that you recommend and now I'm ready to dig in. So we had a phone call, we got her signed up and we jumped right into my eight week program. So I'm, you know, at the end of the day, I, my, my, one of my goals is just put out high quality content that really helps people down a path of, you know, peaceful parenting. And, and I think the biggest message is what's possible for your family mm. when you make this change and when you, you know, notice maybe things that you can do differently and ways that you can think differently and act differently to, you know, have an impact on your, on your family. Yeah. And can I add one more thing, Jennifer, that I think might be helpful? Yes. Just because my story started when my son was four doesn't mean that your story can't start when your child or kids are 12 or 14 or 16. It, and, the, you know, one of the important messages I want everybody to hear is it's never too late. You haven't ruined your kids. Nothing's gone wrong. You're not missing a gene. These are all the things I thought and I hear from my clients all the time. Right. Nothing has gone wrong. When we know better, we do better. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I have even worked with, I'm, I'm pleased to say I worked with one woman who had adult children and, and I helped her. I've worked with people with, you know, kids in college. I've worked with people with teenagers. And I really want you to hear loud and clear that it's never too late to begin to do this work. And, and please don't feel discouraged, feel hope that at any point you can dig into this, this new way of parenting and show up in a new way for your kids and have a massive transformation quickly. That is amazing. I'm so filled with hope right now. I'm so, I'm so inspired by talking to you. Okay, I'm gonna put you on the, on the spot here, but can you give us all one tiny little thing we can do right now to make a difference in our relationship with our teens? Absolutely. Something small. I know it's yeah. putting you on the spot. It's, it's, it's a parent's <laughs> most powerful word or, or phrase. Are you ready? Ready? Okay, don't hold on to your seat. Okay. All right. The most, <laughs> the most powerful statement a parent has is, oh, tell me more. You know, your kid says, um, you know, you try to institute something new at home and your kid says, oh, that's stupid. Oh, tell me more. Um, you might say, hey, can you get your chores done? No. Oh, tell me more. Oh, I'm writing this down. I'm putting it. Right? So uh, your, your daughter says, you know, can I, can, I go, can I go to the mall? Tell me more. What's happening at the mall, right? It's, it's the invitation, whether they're asking something or they're telling you something, it's the invitation to dig deeper, to go a layer below which is where the understanding lies. The understanding isn't at the surface, the yes or no, that's dumb, I don't wanna do that, my coach sucks, I hate school, right? These are the teenage statements, and those are sort of the, the surface of the information. Oh, tell me more, I hate my coach. Oh, tell me more, right? Suddenly now the kid's opening up and telling you, well, you know, he picked Johnny to be the team captain and I really wanted that job or I thought I deserved it and earned it, right? Now you're getting the information you need to really understand their position, to be empathetic, to be creative, to problem solve. And it's really, you know, for teenage parents, it, it's, and I mean, I use it four or five times a day. You know, my kid will tell me, um, I just, he just has so much to say about things, you know, he's, he's on the countdown to graduate from eighth grade and all of a sudden school is stupid. And I said, oh, well, tell me more about that. Well, you know, it turns out that he's worn out mm -hmm. and he's frustrated that they, you know, they're, they have like five weeks of school left and he's just done, you know, and he's just, he doesn't want to do homework. They want to sit around and watch movies and sign their yearbook all day. Mm -hmm. So then we were able to talk about finishing strong. You know, what do you want your... You've been at the school for a long time. What do you want your exit reputation to be? How can we close strong? And, you know, I'm supporting him at home with some things too, like, you know, being a little more gentle and, and empathetic that it's a struggle. He already knows what high school he's going to. He's registered. You know, it's sort of like 
for parents, you know, if we've ever closed out a job, you know, like you give your notice in the last two weeks, you're trying hard to be productive, but it's a struggle because your mind is already on to the next job and you're excited about that. And suddenly this doesn't feel good anymore. You don't want to be here. Like, why do I have to do that? So it's the same thing. And, and in this situation, oh, tell me more. You know, when my son said school's stupid, it would have been easy to judge to, you know, what are you talking about? You can't talk like that. School's not stupid. It would have been easy to go there, right? Because we make these snap judgments of what our kids mean. But oh, tell me more gives them a chance to really communicate to us exactly what's underneath the statement. And then it really gives us a chance to noodle on it and open that conversation up. Okay, I think in that one tip, you are going to transform a lot of families. So I know tonight when the kids get home, it's exactly what I'm saying. So thank you for that quick win for us. I would just, I'd love to have you back, Lisa. I'd love to hear more from you. Um, I'm going to make sure that everyone watching this has ways to connect with you because I think you're brilliant and inspiring. Mm -hmm. And I am filled with hope just listening to you. I can't imagine your coaching clients. They must be just overjoyed when they, when they work with you and are transformed. So thank you thank so you. much, Lisa. I'm, I'm very honored and I can't wait to talk to you again. Be my pleasure. Thanks, Jennifer. Thanks, Lisa. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye.